Hey everyone, my name is Kaurav and welcome to 100 GB where I talk about a lot of cool stuff like software engineering, technology, productivity, career, filmmaking maybe. So as a software engineer, the most important skill that I need to have is writing code or typing. Well, primarily it's writing and editing code. Uh, writing code is hardly 40% of what I do, but it's, it is still the best and the top notch skill a software engineer can have. What you just saw was me when I started my career, I was very slow, I, I didn't know how to type. And then I got some great advice from uh, senior folks. And the advice was use Vim. And this is me empowered with Vim. So, reasons for learning them. Before we jump to that, uh, I just wanted to know, do you guys follow me on Instagram? If you don't, just, you should consider following me. I generally don't post a lot, but when I do, the content is damn good. All uh, the Insta handle must be flashing on your screen right now. Just go check it out. So, reasons for learning Vim. First thing, I'd say learning Vim will be hard. For the, for the first and the second day, uh, you will be tempted a lot to just give it all away and uh, go back to what you were doing before. But third day is where things will start being faster. Whatever you are typing, whatever you are trying to do, whatever code you are writing, you will be faster you will feel that so the ultimate goal here is to optimize for the long term long term so just learn to use this term uh, if you are out of your college because once you're out of your college days become months months become years years become decades the time is generally very uh, i'd say fast or slow whatever so what I want to say is you start thinking of the long term, whatever you are learning, you try to structure it for uh, the next coming year. And maybe when you when you reach 30, then you try to structure your learning across five years or 10 years. Uh, that's how things are. So if you save a fraction of milliseconds for a task you have to do a thousand times every day, it is a lot when you uh, like compile it over multiple days, years, decades, it is a lot. And all of this will make you more efficient and will make you look cool. So what is Vim? Uh, actually, Vim comes from VI. VI is this uh, a program or a text editor which was written for Unix. And now it actually comes preloaded on uh, Linux distributions. I'm pretty sure you have heard of it or maybe used it. Uh, fun fact, it was made by a long-term Googler uh, who has just left Google, I guess, a few days back. The name is in the description. So other thing that I like about Vim is that you learn it once and you use it everywhere. So whatever ID you can think of or you're using right now, it will have a, a Vim plugin. So, uh, for example, for IntelliJ, you have IdeaVim. For VS Code, you have VS Code Vim. And similarly for Xcode as well, you have a plugin. And you also have individual programs if you want to install. Uh, you have Mac Vim for Mac. You have GVim for both on Linux and uh, Windows. So you are fully covered if you want to switch to Vim. Hey guys, this is me while editing the video. So I forgot to mention one thing that while you are learning Vim, it is very helpful to create a cheat sheet. Actually, just download a cheat sheet from uh, internet and just print it out. Keep it on your desk and keep referring to it when you are writing code. This will help a lot. I, I, I remember I used to have like two, three cheat sheets which were on my desk and I used to refer to them quite a lot. So this is something that I will strongly recommend. So let's actually get our hands dirty and try out some Vim stuff. 
I'll quickly mention like three recipes uh, which which I personally use. So one is uh, to change the current word I am at. I, I quickly go to the beginning of the word, press C, I go to the C uh, to the change mode, then press E to go to the end of the word and I can quickly replace the word. The other recipe I use is uh, removing everything from the current cursor to the end of the line. So let's say I'm here uh, and I want to remove everything from here to the end of the line. I press C to go into the change mode, which behaves like D. Uh, and then press Shift 4 to go to the end and everything is deleted. I can do that with D as well, but I prefer C because I... Uh, so whenever you delete something, the next section is to insert something. So it takes you to the insertion mode directly. And the other very uh, interesting thing, uh, uh, interesting recipe that I use frequently is when you are at a line, you're editing some code. At, at times you want to uh, like join the next line with the current line. So a shortcut here is shift J and you keep pressing that it'll keep bringing the next line into the current line and appending it into the current line. Let's go back. And another recipe just for the sake of it, if you want to delete everything from cursor to the end of the file again, do C, go to the change mode and to go to the end of the file, we can do shift G. Voila, everything is deleted. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and this was uh, kind of a learning opportunity for you. Uh, I plan to make like another video on Vim recipes, like the three recipes you just saw. And there are a lot of more similar recipes that I use. So whether or not I'll post that video, that depends on what kind of uh, reaction I get on this video. I'll soon post a poll on my channel uh, just to check on whether you guys like this and whether I should post the next one. So if this is the first time on this channel, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel right away. And if it's your second or third time and you haven't subscribed yet, just go ahead and do it. That's it. Bye.